SGC in general was one of those things that felt like a once in a lifetime opportunity kind of thing. And luckily we're gonna be doing it every year, but it that weekend felt like we were in another world or another universe. But the one singular moment was at the opening ceremonies right before everything was about to begin. And we're all backstage and just waiting because this is it. <laughs> this is it and it's kind of a big deal. We didn't really realize how huge it was gonna be or at least I didn't until we were literally standing there. The lights go down and we're backstage and we can see the giant screen glowing and you can hear everyone get quiet for a second and then just start roaring with applause and yelling. And it was like every hair on your body just stands up because it's so freaking electric in that room full of people. We're all looking at each other and our jaws have dropped and we're all just like, oh my gosh. They announce us and we go out there and that anticipation of knowing that you're about to round that corner and go out in front of this crowd. And it's not just any crowd, it's, it's our people. I mean, I've done theater my whole life. I've you know, been on stage in front of giant crowds. I've worked on TV for years. This was a whole different ball game. You had to have been in the room to have felt it. And it was awesome. Also pulled pork sandwiches. For me, my best ever SGC moment had to be all the times that I was with ScrewAttack on stage. As both opening ceremonies and the ScrewAttack panel went on, we just started to get all these ideas for silly videos we can do, like the pulled pork or, you know, the uh, hot pocket eating contest. And so the thing I look forward to most now is the video where Ben is going to take on Craig uh, 1v1 in a game of basketball. Let's talk about health, okay? Clearly to be an athlete, you have to have some degree of uh, healthiness about yourself. Let's look at Craig first. He is already having to eat healthy, working out, and he plays basketball probably once a week. On the other hand, you have Ben. Looks like he hasn't worked out in about a decade. He's certainly in need of some sunlight. Poor guy's so pale. He eats Whataburger like three to four days a week. Craig's got at least a foot on him, and he has this salsa cough. <coughs> Having that kind of terminal condition doesn't bode well for Ben. I envision the basketball game going about as well as Craig trying to beat Mike Tyson. With Craig being Mike Tyson in this case, and Ben being Craig. He will not beat Craig in a game of basketball. Even laughing right now. Can't help it. My favorite moment at SGC is definitely winning Mario Party After Dark. I mean, I was the only one who got to do it. That's freaking sweet. Like, I mean, who gets to win Mario Party After Dark Live? Just one person, and that one person was me. So fuck you, Chad. Doing Mario Party After Dark live and actually having the people there rather than in, you know, the chat and stuff was insane. And literally having them sectioned out to like we segregated them like it was the 1920s. It was insane because usually, you know, you get a star and the chat's like, yeah, go Sam. But then you get a star when you're doing it live and like everybody starts flipping shit. One point I told Chad he was a fool. And then all of a sudden there's an eat a dick chant going. And it's like, you know, you have like 200 people chanting eat a dick. It was incredible. Winning it was profound. Getting put on Scott's shoulders and just seeing everybody and everybody was cheering and shit and it was going crazy. And I mean, I think most of them might've been drunk. I didn't even look at the other team. Now I really wish I could have gone back just so I could have seen their disappointment in their face and been like, look, that kid's crying. Fuck you, Yoshi. I guess what I really learned from this incredible experience is that Chad James is just not that cool. Jared's alright. If you have ever not won, I would recommend trying winning much better than losing, which I can't imagine how shitty that would have felt to let an entire, a huge amount of people just letting them down. I think they had to exit behind the stage. I would have out of shame. 
like they should feel. But no, I won, so I just ran into the crowd, it's like, what up? It was the best, and I hope the other ones are still feeling bad and shameful, especially Chad. So one of the things that was put on the schedule for SGC 2013 was something that looked like a bunch of numbers to a lot of people who aren't familiar with uh, classic video games, or they just looked like a misprint. It was uh, 007-373-5963. That is the code to Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's punch out. I fought Mike Tyson in Mike Tyson's punch out hundreds of times. I've only beat him once, and that was in New York at Screw Attack versus Dorkley. Miraculously, I beat it. It was totally lucky. I got a cheap punch that it was totally lucky. I was going to beat him at SGC. It was the middle of the night, started at 11 p.m., and I sat down in my pink jumpsuit, came out, busting jabs, ready to go, and I got my ass kicked over and over and over again. And the only person in my corner was Doc Lewis. And that, but that night, I didn't just have Doc in my corner, I had everybody there because it didn't turn it, it wasn't like Craig versus Mike Tyson, it was everybody in that room versus Mike Tyson because I had people come up to me giving me tips and tricks throughout the night, people coming up and, and telling me how they beat Mike Tyson. Every time I reset it, people were doing different things in the room. Like some people in the back, it's, it's late night, people are having fun, they're drinking. So people on the back, every time I reset, they'd be like, drink! And every time I'd reset, uh, people in the front would be like, all right, push-ups. So people would be doing push-ups. I was so zoned in on beating Mike that I didn't even realize that it had been five hours. And we had to stop because I wanted to be considerate to the people running the board, running the cameras. After all the lights are off, the, the game shut down, the projector shut off. I think they saw it as like, this guy who really wants to beat this guy or beat this game. And I'm gonna beat him at SGC 2014.